It is graduation day for these 66 senior officers, ranking from deputy director and above, or its equivalent in the armed forces. The overall objective of the course is to provide participants with broader outlook, intellectual depth, capacity to deliver effectively on future responsibilities, and to also build synergy among the participating agencies. Some of the graduates are staff of the wife of the president and the vice president. I congratulate the graduates, particularly the female graduates. And my dear personal staff for their successful outing and equally challenge them to utilize the knowledge and skills acquired more effectively. For the vice president, the graduates have an enormous task ahead of them, and this course puts them at the heart of Nigeria's security and intelligence services. He reminds them of the advantages that abound, which they must leverage on. One is the threat of hacking and other cyber crimes, which could inflict damage on our cyber infrastructure and compromise critical sectors, including military, defense, telecommunications, and financial services. The threat environment that you are tasked with engaging is not the same environment that existed even just a decade ago. This bears emphasis. In strategic national security terms, we must recognize that it is a new day and a new age. Your challenges are new. And while I sympathize with you because it's a lot to deal with in a world that is far more complicated than that which your predecessors operated in, but I must also add that you are functioning at the most advanced moment in human history. You are better equipped, better resourced than at any other time in the history of man. These graduates are now fellows of the National Institute of Security Services and as such represent the emerging leadership elite of this crucial eye in Nigeria's defense and security infrastructure. How they implement what they've learned here for the past 10 months directly impacts on the safety of all Nigerians in the years ahead. Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.